What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. As y'all know, I've been a pretty good advocate for Ice Spice on this channel. I'm not the biggest fan of her music, but I am a big fan of her movement. And I ain't talking about that movement. I'm saying in general, her as an icon. I like everything she's doing. I support her. She's relatively unproblematic, even though they're trying to put her and throw her into a beef with Lotto. She feeds into it a little bit here and there with some tweets. But outside of that, I rock with her and I rock with Lotto. So don't come at me in the comments. But she now has an interview with Zane Lowens. They have a clip that came out talking about her rise to fame and how it has hindered her relationship with her siblings. She says, I don't mean to be distant. I can't be in another country and be as close to you as I once was. Now, earlier this year, I spoke about Glorilla having the same issue, right? She talked about how she's having problems with her family, how this rap music shit has created problems with those that she loves the most. And to be honest, people don't really understand. Back when I spoke about Glorilla, I said, you know, people see you come from being that regular everyday person. You might have worked at Starbucks. You might have been a waitress. You might have worked at Target. Hell, you might have had a decent job at a corporate company. You were moonlighting as an artist, trying to do shows, trying to get your little thing popping. You know, you were making music videos. Nothing was really popping off the way that you wanted it to. They supported you. They supported you at the level that they could conceive or perceive you being at. But then once you become this person, everybody's on your nuts. You know, your name is popping up every day on the shade room, on all the big content channels. You're on TV. You're flying overseas. You're doing all of this stuff. They don't really understand how to take you. They want you to still fit in their comfortable little box. They want you to still be the same person that you've always been in that small town that you came up in. They still want to be able to call you at all hours of the day and know that you're going to pick up, send you a funny text and know that you're going to laugh and respond and show them that love. But your schedule is now so packed out because, again, you're flying, you're traveling. You may not always have great Internet access in some of these places. You may not have Wi-Fi, right? You're busy. You're taking meetings. You're always doing meetings. You're getting endorsements, which means that you got to wow these people. You got to bring your A game to make sure that they're willing to invest in you, right? You're performing at all these shows. Fucking Rolling Loud has what? Damn near 25 different shows. These motherfuckers, it's an international tour at this point. And a lot of these artists are performing at each one in different cities. So they're jet setting every day. And the people that love you the most are just like, damn, you don't fuck with us no more. Then you got the friends. Then you got people that feel like, damn, you rich. Why you ain't help me out? Why you ain't get me a graduation gift? Why you ain't show up for my birthday? Why you ain't send me a big ass cake? Right? And it's like, dog, I'm out of sight, out of mind. I hate to be, but this is the grind that I'm on right now. If it was you in this same position, you would be me. But nobody wants to put themselves in that space because everybody thinks, well, if it was me, I would still keep it real. I would still do all of that. Nah, nigga, that's not how this shit go. That's not how it goes at all. Because you got a million and one people pulling you in a million and one different directions and you have to do what's going to serve you the most on a day to day basis. And normally what it's going to be is adhering to the bag, answering when it calls. Right. I love you. I'll send money home. I'll send y'all some postcards. I'm going to hit you with that text right before I go to sleep in the hotel. Don't be mad at me because I ain't hit you up all day. At least I hit you up this week. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it got to be a lot of times, especially for the grind of a new artist, a relatively new artist like an Ice Spice who's just had a monstrous two years in the spotlight. She's skyrocketing to the motherfucking moon. She's affiliated with Nicki Minaj, the best selling female rapper of all time with the most number one hits, all this shit. So now she's in demand like never before. She was just doing, I mean, goddamn, she ain't even know how to perform when she got on. You know she's in a whirlwind. But I'm going to let Ice Spice go ahead and speak to y'all and give her personal account from the interview because I done took the, over this whole goddamn thing and she should be able to speak for herself. So let's run it. Sisters miss me so bad. We was just getting into it because it's like it do be hard to like maintain a relationship with somebody you grew up with and then try to like travel the whole world and like please so many other people. And it's like you still got to pay attention to them. So it's a lot, you know, but I'm trying to deal with it. Yeah. Shout out my sisters. I miss them. I mean, I know all about it. I mean, when I left my home country when I was much younger and I, I think that it is a, there's no other way to put it. And I don't mean to scare you or whatever, but ultimately following your dreams, is a, there is a sacrifice that comes with that. Yeah. And I think the family thing is the ultimate sacrifice when you leave the people behind that you love and you just don't, they're always going to be there, but you just don't get all that time. And it's sad because they'll blame you like, and they'll be like, oh, we're distant now or whatever. And it's like, I don't mean to be, it's just like, I can't be in another country and also be as close to you as I was when we was five yeah, yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, 
but yeah we still it's all love at the end of the day i appreciate that they even miss me you know because some people's siblings don't care about them <laughs> it doesn't make, so. breaks my heart then you gotta take into account all them third fourth and fifth motherfucking cousins that ain't seen your ass since the goddamn 96 family reunion now they calling now they want a birthday gift now they want you to perform in their backyard and shit when Hey, I was just out here two years ago. I was available two years ago. Y'all could have booked me. Y'all didn't want to hear my shit. I passed you a mixtape. You broke that shit over a nigga's skull. You know what I'm saying? You tossed that motherfucker like a frisbee back when I gave it to you. Now you believe in my raps. Now you want me to perform. Now you trying to get me at your homeboy Kinsinghera and shit. Now you trying to whore me out. You know what I'm saying? You like, hey, you know that my cousin and shit, I can get him to come perform at the goddamn... Yeah, bring him to the trap. Yeah, dope boy Kevo got a birthday coming up. Bring him to the trap. Bring him to the trap, man. She gonna she gonna perform. Not a fuck she ain't. And you should never put that expectation out there, cause it ain't happening, my nigga. <laughs> Every time you get remotely close to the city, you like five states away. They like where my tickets at? Fly us out, cut. <laughs> fly me out. Fly me out. No, nigga. I'm not flying nobody out. I ain't even got it like that. And that's another part that people don't be understanding. I was getting into it before. People think you're rich. As an artist in the game, it takes a couple years before you actually get to the real money. Despite all your success, despite all of the record sales, despite all of the chart positioning, it's going to take a minute for you to actually get to the real money because everything you're doing is coming back retroactively. Even when you do an endorsement deal, they're not paying you up front. You might sign off on that deal, but they're gonna hit you with that net 90, net 120, net 60, you know what I'm saying? And God forbid if them motherfuckers don't actually send it to your own time. All your royalties is wrapped up. If you're doing well on streaming, your motherfucking royalties is backed up four, five months before you get your first check. Not unless you sign with like a company that's going to front you some bread upon your royalties, which is a totally different thing. I'm not talking about a record label. There's people on labels that are still out here brokering deals on publishing or brokering deals on their cut of the streaming money, on their cut of their masters so that they can get some upfront money because they know they're not going to pay that shit off no way. But that's a whole other video. I don't even want to get into all that, but that's some, <laughs> some Jedi mind trick shit that people getting into. Motherfuckers wondering why you ain't coming back to the hood with 50 pair of Jordans just ready for the kids, right? <laughs> they looking at you like, man, you done forgot about the hood, man. No, the fuck I didn't. I'm trying to stay away from this shit because I ain't got it yet. I will come back when I do. People don't understand. They think you become the motherfucking mythological Santa Claus that they heard about when they was a kid. Just like Bow Wow and Brandon T. Jackson on that rooftop and lottery ticket. And that nigga said, you got an opportunity to change this for all of us. No, I do not, nigga. I got an opportunity to change this shit for me. Give me five years, I'll come back and change a nigga life. You might be lucky to come along with me because you my right-hand person. I can find a job for you. I can make you a little bit more appealing to my partners and stuff like that. We could make you presentable to have a job, have some steady income coming in. All the rest of these motherfucking scragglers, get it how you live. I'll be back when I can do something for you. I might come back and get your ass a job application or something. You ain't going to like that, though. <laughs> so I feel Ice Spice 100%, man. This is something that a lot of artists coming up, a lot of people that want to get into entertainment, a lot of people that want to have high-level success, this is something that they don't teach you about, and they don't teach you how to handle it. This shit should be a part of the motherfucking workbook as well. For everybody out there, and myself included, if you're teaching artists how to make money, you're teaching artists how to get out there and tour, you're teaching artists out there how to find success, we have to start adding chapters on what happens when you reach that space. How do you handle it? How do you get mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared for the challenges that you're going to face? How do you become that business entity without disregarding your personal relationships? Because now you're so focused on business, you're not really worried about some, some things. Some things are now not as important. They don't mean as much because you know what I'm doing in the long run is going to help everybody. This is going to help the entire family. We're going to, I could take everybody out the projects. I could give everybody opportunity. You got to give me some time to get my feet under me. I look good. I know. But what y'all don't see is all the hardships that we got to face right now. All the money that's being invested so I could be all these places. I got to actually start recouping all this shit, man. Give me a minute. So yeah, man, I took y'all all around the world, but I just wanted to let you know that this shit is real. Y'all could bullshit with rap if you want. More money, more problems is the real deal. Shout out to Biggie. Let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.